Now, I know a lot of you guys were talking about population density. This is killing me because if that's the case, by that logic, how did President Trump win Florida? Because a lot of rural Florida showed up and voted for Trump in places like Orlando, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, West Palm Beach, you know, the densely populated areas. They didn't vote for Trump, at least as far as the, the overall win. And this just goes to show that most of you actually don't know what you're talking about. And this is this is how they get away with it. Letting them literally manipulate the results. You're not going to sit here and tell me that the vast majority of your state is just tumbleweed and fucking old sheriffs hanging around in the wild, wild west. And only in your democratic cities is where things are happening. That's such bullshit. And you fucking know it. Okay. There are densely populated cities outside of the most popular democratic cities, you know, like, for example, places like Naples, Florida didn't vote Democrat. But guess what? It's still a fucking city. And, and, and this is the kind of stuff Gainesville, Florida. There's still a whole college out there and a whole group of people out there. My point being is that you need to stop sleeping on things like TikTok. I've said it time and time again. This is where all the proof that this election is rigged is coming out. Places like YouTube will ban, block, shadow ban people, deplatform people for just simply showing the truth. And the reality is stuff like this exists. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. Okay. Look at that. They're showing you. Look at that. Look at that. This was yesterday, dude. And they're showing you, bro. They called Virginia for Joe Biden when there was 1.3 million votes in favor for Donald Trump, 52%, and Biden was at 45% at 1.1 million. That's rigged. That's not even a fair, that's not an election. That's not how those numbers work. You, you, you can use that densely populated trash all you want, but that doesn't hold up. And if you really had any shadow of a doubt that this was a rigged election, let's let Biden tell you that they are committing voter fraud. And notice the Biden and Harris signs in the background. Secondly, we're in a situation where we have put together and you guys did, did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration before this. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. Do, do you really do you need to hear any more than that? How, how can this be? Look at that. One percent in. They already called it Biden in Virginia. That's Bro, tell me that doesn't look sus. Less than one percent of the votes are in. They called it for Biden. Now look at look at Trump, 58 percent to 41 percent. But Biden Biden wins with just less than one percent of the voting. That's already voter fraud right there. They, they already stole that state clean from underneath Trump. When America went to sleep last night, President Trump had a pretty good lead in Michigan that went away around 4 a.m. This morning when police escorted in a big box of uncounted ballots, 138,000 of them to be exact. And out of the 138,000 votes that they found, 138,000 of them was for Joe Biden. So neither Bruh, come on, you know what I'm saying? Like 130, you found 138,000 votes, 100% for Biden. That literally never happened in any election ever, which is why you can look at every election in the history of our country and you would never see a spike up like that. They're trying to get Trump out of office and they're going to steal it. Look at this. Well, something's messed up in Virginia. That's for damn sure. How? How? What? This is the news coverage, bro. Check it. Hold up. Report that Biden is leading in Virginia. Biden is leading in Virginia. Too early to call, but Biden's leading. I don't know about you, but 69% is a whole hell of a lot better than 30%. Know what I'm saying? Okay, we all knew it was going to happen, but Virginia was plainly obvious. California being called 11 minutes after they closed. Hawaii being called before any ballots were counted. Arizona, the Sharpies, the ballots counted. Come on. You tell me how our polls closed at 8 p.m. here in California, and six minutes later, California goes Biden. Bullshit. I call bullshit. This state turned red. You can't count those many fucking ballots, excuse my language, in six minutes. Bro, people are pissed, and rightfully so. I mean, like, if I voted and I stand in line, I stood in line all that damn time, and they're cheating like this, I'd be pretty pissed. 
But this is this is exactly why I don't vote. They're gonna do what they want to do either way. It's all pre-planned bullshit, as you clearly are seeing. Oh, so Trump was getting ready to blow Joe Biden out. They could count the mail-in ballots for 45 other states, but not the last five: Michigan, Georgia, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. They they could they can't find the ballots for the last five states. Oh. Nope, apparently not. You see what I'm saying? Like the last fight, they were doing so good. The, the election was fair while everybody was awake. Everybody goes to sleep. This happens. This is proof that mail-in ballots are 100% a scam. Right here. Did, if you didn't know what that was, that was the spike. We run this that back. This is proof that mail-in ballots are 100% a scam. You have Michigan. They got a massive spike up out of nowhere overnight at the same exact time that Wisconsin did. These votes were literally just dumped in the laps of these cities that were the two swing states that they needed. And amazing, 100% of both of those votes and, and or both of those states all went to Biden. That is statistically impossible, mathematically not a possibility that you can have over 100 plus thousand votes go straight to one candidate in an election that has been pretty 50-50, I'm pretty sure we all could have seen, until we went to sleep and then you know what i mean it's 100 percent, and in some cases 101 percent all in favor of biden what the fuck what the fuck is people this? are pissed about this that is not funny that is not there's nothing <laughs> what Drug my armory. 17 shots for me Bro, everybody's mad about this, and rightfully so. Look at this. All right, guys, like, share, comment, get this video out there because we can't let this go unseen. They're gonna. <laughs> Bro, it's everywhere. Like everyone's talking about the random spikes that happened out of nowhere, where it was a gradual crawl, and then magically it jumps up like a rocket ship into the sky. This is how they steal their power back. And I'm going to tell you right now, like I've been telling you, Biden Harris is going to win 2020. They're going to shortly after have Biden fall ill with some bullshit sickness or whatever. He can't do the job, whatever. Right. And then Harris steps in as the first black female president. And then she does all the liberal shit that she's been planning for the longest fucking time. And you know what? I blame the Republicans because they don't own big tech. They don't own most of the mainstream media and they don't own any of the Hollywood actors and actresses that are all put, putting all of their resources together. They are a well-oiled machine. And if you think you're beating it off of fairness alone, you're out of your mind. Dude, just look at the simple fact that you have conservatives being deplatformed off of Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook until after the election. Just look at the simple fact that you have Hollywood actors and actresses trying to tell black voters that they can't black or they, they can't vote for certain people. And you have all of this, this negative narrative. And it, from day one, it has always been, we need to get Trump out of office. We cannot have him back in office again. It, it's always going to be like this. And, and as long as Trump has it. So a lot of shit going on. It's going to be like this. So this is what we're seeing with Wisconsin and Michigan. That's a pretty big spike overnight. Look at that. Just slightly going over the Republicans. And mind you, look at these numbers. Before Biden had one... 0.992 million and Trump had 2.200 million. After the night, Trump still had 2.200 million and Biden all of a sudden had 2.130 million. So how can Michigan find 140,000 random votes just for Biden? Out of 140,000 mail-in ballots, not a single one was for Trump. And with Arizona at the start, Biden was leading with more than 200,000 votes with 73% reporting. With 84% reporting, Biden's lead has been cut to 93,500. That's voter fraud, by the way. It's disgusting, and we should... This is the kind of stuff that people are talking about on TikTok. So while on YouTube, it's all pro-Biden, pro-Harris, they're suppressing stuff like this. I love TikTok because organic stuff just pops up in the feed, and you're seeing it in real time. You're seeing people show the news. You're seeing people show the spikes. You're seeing people's outrage. This is the real American populace that you are not seeing on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and all that other stuff. And I wanted to show you guys that because, like, I know you all think it's a bunch of, like, 12-year-olds dancing. That's not what TikTok is. There's a whole bunch of communities on TikTok, and y'all got to stop sleeping on it. There's even something for pro-Biden people, okay? Like, for people thinking it's just for kids, it's definitely not at this stage. And, man, 
the the proof that we've been seeing come out of this whole election process has been crazy. So many people exposing so many things. Now, granted, after Google bought ByteDance or whatever they ended up doing, there's been a lot more suppression happening. Uh, people being banned. I've seen a lot of TikToks about that deplatform till after the election. Like all kinds of crazy stuff that's just been going on. So I think, honestly, if you believe this election, you believe what's happening right now, I think, you know, you're kind of proud of the problem, man, because you don't get spikes out of nowhere like that, man. Like, come on, come on. At the same time, two, the two states that were in question that were trending red magically went blue all as we went asleep and woke up in the morning because they found a, over 100,000 votes all for Biden very convenient, very convenient. I'm not even a Trump supporter. I mean, you guys, some of you guys saw the video I made about Trump. I mean, you, some of you guys saw the video and, and really hated what I had to say. But you, you got to admit that this is unfair. This is cheating, but this is something that happens when you don't fortify your 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 base. You don't you don't build up something to prevent this from happening. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen. I know we're in for probably a very long election process. They're probably going to fight it in the Supreme Court. We're probably not going to know till sometime even after 2021. I mean, like way into 2021, we'll be finding out. I don't know, man. This just seems like a recipe for disaster. But I want I want to hear your thoughts. I mean, do you think it's fair or do you think that this is credible that like that spike on a graph magically happens in a race that was literally just slow and steady crawling? I mean, just let me know. Just just curious here. Seems a little sus to me, but I want to see what you guys have to say about it.